Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at the latest Tesla update that's come onto our Model Y. So it is version 2024.14.7. Basically, uh, recently there was an update that gave Tesla uh, Vision Park Assist onto a lot of cars and it's finally come onto the Model Y. At least the Model Y um, or cars with the AMD Ryzen chip anyway. So anyways, let's flip the screen, let's have a look, I've got it here, and let's um, give it a test and see how we go. All right, so hopefully you guys can essentially see this over here. So what you're looking at is Tesla Vision Park Assist. You can now choose to enable Tesla Vision Park Assist. It displays high fidelity 3D representation of the area around your vehicle, including proximity and shape of nearby objects, barriers, vehicles, and painted road markings. So it looks like in autopilot, park assist, you can turn on Tesla Vision, and it's a guidance purposes, it's for guidance purposes only, not a substitute for alert for a driver. So that's what it essentially looks like. So uh, yeah, let's have a look and let's turn it on. So in the car settings, we'll go over to autopilot so you'll see uh, there's a blue dot there which signifies um, latest update or there's a change there and you can see over here standard versus Tesla vision so again that's all of the information there um, you can pause the screen there to have a look at what that says but it's just a quick brief on what standard versus Tesla vision is so we've got park assist and we've got Tesla vision and uh, yeah, let's give it a go. All right, so we're here in a car park, driving around. It's pretty much on the standard settings, which essentially means it's using the USS, which is the uh, ultrasonic sensors. So this is essentially what you see when you're driving around. Um, you can see that it sees the cars clearly. It does not see pillars or anything like that. And we're gonna drive close, um, and we're gonna park towards another car, and we'll see if, uh, it detects anything so here we go so we're going to pull up to the right to this car over here this Toyota Corolla you'll see from the vision it did get confused for a second there thought it was two cars so you can see sensors started to kick in over here and then a bit over here and that's really it we'll look at the same and as I reverse, so you can see it's starting to show using the sensors how many centimeters away I am from the car and you can see that red line there which is indicating I'm getting really close. 61 centimeters, 42 centimeters obviously telling me to stop. Now I'm going to reverse totally into this spot over here and we'll see what that looks like as well. So you can see the sensors are working. It's starting to detect something over here. And it's getting amber. 80, 75 centimeters, 73. And we'll probably stop around there. 44 centimeters is what we are essentially stopping at. And so the front, as you saw, it had the sensors there and over here. And now that I'm parked, I can move this around and you can see the various vehicles that are here. There's one here, there's one up ahead, there's one on the right as well. And as I turn this around, that's pretty much all you can see. You can't see any more than that. So let's switch it over to um, the Tesla Vision Park Assist and we'll see what the key differences are. All right, so as you can see, 44 centimeters, that's using the USS or ultrasonic sensors. So let's switch over to Tesla Vision Park Assist and we will see how we go. So hitting the car icon here, it was in autopilot settings and we go, so don't forget we're still in reverse and that's all you see at the moment. Let's switch over to Tesla Vision over here. And so you can see it's red, it says stop. You can see all the lines clearly marked you can see there's a wall over here and actually I'll turn this off so you can see it even better. So I'll put it back into uh, drive. So this is pretty much what you can see. Very, very clear. 
So you can see it's pretty much red. So instead of uh, the ultrasonic sensors, it pretty much shows you a diagram and the cameras show that there's pillars as well. So actually it'd be good to see if I move into the spots to the left and the right, if it picks up that I'm next to a pillar or if I'm not with the sensors. So let's, let's just move into the next spot and we'll see how we go. So we're in drive. We'll move over here and we'll put the car in reverse. So So you can see over here that you can see the pillar over here and it is right there as well. So let's continue reversing and you can see it's starting to glow even more. And while we're at it, let's switch back actually and see how this, see what the pillar picks up. So autopilot standard. So standard over here it does not pick anything up. All right, so let's go back to autopilot and go Tesla vision. And let's get rid of that menu. So there you go, you can start to see that's glowing red heaps. And the back is starting to show over here and there. Now, did you hear that beep? So that beep is obviously signifying that like I'm potentially gonna hit something, but there's still a fair bit of space here. So I guess that's a downside of having just vision only at the moment. Unless there's a solid beep, I don't know. That might be just a progression warning. But that's probably all I'm going to do in terms of stopping distance. And so I'm not too sure if you can see the pillar over here. Uh, yes, you can. And that's essentially the pillar that you've got over here. And it's really bright red here behind, which shows that distance there. So if I switch back over here to standard, that's essentially all you see. And I'll put it back into drive. I'll drive forward a bit and I'll just see when I put it into reverse, how many centimeters we're talking about. Or if it shows, there we go. So it's about 41 centimeters it showed. Um, whereas with Tesla Vision, park assist that is everything else that you see let's put in d just to put it in full screen mode so that's essentially everything you see so guys what do you think about all of this it's finally come onto the model y uh, hopefully it goes on to and so from what i've read it's only gone to the people with the um with the ryzen cpus hopefully it goes to the intel based ones very soon for the ones that have been using it so far what do you guys think? Are you guys going to stick to it? Are you not? Uh, I'm going to give it a red hot go. Um, I was initially thinking, you know, who's going to use that and whatnot, and that I would purely stick to using my uh, ultrasonic sensors because I do drive in quite a few tight spots. But I'm going to give it a red hot go. I'll give it a go for maybe a month or so. I'll keep you guys informed. Um, I'll do another video maybe in a month's time, and we'll see how we go. Uh, I'm really keen on seeing how this performs when you are going in tighter spaces because the sensors don't necessarily always pick up, um, I guess, the foot raised curbs. You know, when you're in a tight car park, um, raised curbs that where you would potentially um, gutter rash your rims. Uh, so yeah, I'll give it a go. I'll report back, fingers crossed, no gutter rash rims, um, nothing else, and uh, yeah. But I did have my reservations originally, I'll, I'll admit that, because it was gonna be vision-based. The bit that I see still as a downside at this point in time is the fact that it started to beep a lot as I was reversing, as you saw in the video earlier, where there was actually a lot of space and it seemed like the beeps were potentially meaning that I was pretty much going to hit something. So you could see that it was already starting to glow red in the, in the video, whereas, you know, in the actual camera, there was still a fair bit of distance to go. So, I don't know, I guess, it, it might be something that we need to get used to. Um, as I said, I'll give it a go. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's a gimmick? Are you guys going to stick to um, ultrasonic sensors or are you guys going to go through with this? So I'll flip the camera around again one last time just so you guys can see. So this is essentially it. We're parked here. There's a pillar there. 
that's the pillar right here, so fairly close. And when I was looking at uh, distance with the USS, it said that that was roughly about 41 centimeters. However, however, it is uh, glowing red. So yeah, as I said, that wraps it up. I'm gonna give it a red hot go. We'll give it a go for a month. I'll do another review in a month's time. I'll use this vision only. I'll keep you guys informed on what it is. If there's any questions you guys have, drop it in the comments below. Otherwise, hope you guys are well, and we'll see you soon in the next one.